hello guys welcome to another video session and in this video we will be going to talk about how to consume api integrations in angular v19 so angular v19 had released couple of cool features uh, from which we have incremental hydration as well so i have created another video for that uh, incremental hydration so go and check it out that cool feature as well apart from that because now angular v19 now components are being server side rendered so that means it will have to be kind of an optimum solution to consume your api integrations so today in this video we will be going to talk about how we can consume api integrations in v19 However, I have created a very detailed two videos, uh, which will be more, uh, moreover, focusing on API integrations uh, back in Angular 14, like before Angular 14. So it was quite, uh, like quite uh, an other way. Now this video is kind of updating that content towards newer API integration in V19. So I will show you how it goings, uh, like how how exactly it works. So what are some changes which Angular had uh, uh, released? Because now we don't have ng modules and kind of a modular approach in Angular V19. So how we can uh, do those uh, mechanism? So in previous versions of Angular, what we need to do is like we need to have an other like kind of any module. So that will be going to like uh, that will be going to do the API integration. So what we need to do is like we the first thing we need to do is we need to go and import HTTP client module in that respected module. So then after that module is being capable of consuming HTTP client class that is responsible for doing API integrations towards your REST API calls. So now in V19, we don't have that modular approach in our Angular applications like ahead. So then they have added a new uh, HTTP client provider and that provider is to import that provider in your app.config file and that will keep you posted and that's kind of a very cool thing which Angular had released and that provider is been going to have HTTP client support in your provider's array. You don't need to worry about imports, you don't need to worry about HTTP client module to be imported in your component and modules ahead. So that's kind of a cool feature. Let's go and check it out how we can do the API integrations. <coughs> So now here on the uh, on the screen, you guys can see there is an app.config file. So app.config.ts file is being available in now in the latest versions of Angular. Specifically, we are now talking about Angular v19. So app.config file is there. So we have an application config type. So we have these kind of a providers array. So these providers have different different kind of uh, uh, work. So we will be defining and discussing that in later videos. Now the focus is on provide HTTP client. So this provide HTTP client is a function from HTTP uh, like from Angular. So this we need to do the import of that provider in your provider's array inside config file. So that will going to enable the capability of HTTP consuming API REST calls uh, in your Angular application. So if you don't add this provider here, so that will not be going to consume like it, 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 it will be going to fire error when you are consuming REST API calls using HTTP client class. So this provide HTTP client function is very necessary to import and that will going to make your application capable to consume REST API calls. So now what's next? Next is like this provide HTTP client class gives support of with fetch function so that that fetch capability is used for server rendered application. So now in v19 as I previously discussed so every component is now server side rendered if we are going to do so. So then we don't need to just call provide HTTP client function. We need to pass with fetch function inside it that will be more optimum level of your API integrations in your server rendered application. So that's a very pretty cool thing. So if you can do and I can check it out. So this is a with fetch function. So with fetch is been now available here. So you guys can see it's been imported from common HTTP. 
so this is uh, angular common http so with fetch function is available inside it so you just need to call that on the root of your provide http client function so that will be going to give the server rendered application a more optimum level of capability so this is a foremost and necessary things to do in v19 now on the second step after consuming and creating your provide http client class after adding that function so what next you need to do so inside your api service so you need to create your api service so which is the best recommendation for from angular experts so what i did here is like i have a api endpoint so that api endpoint is <clears throat> that API endpoint is going and responsible for giving the response in JSON format. So what I need to do is like I have an API function here which is capable for doing API integration and I'm consuming the get API call. So here what I did is like after adding that provide HTTP client function so now my services my components are being capable to consume API call. So on the second step what I am doing is I have created a service API service inside which what I did is I have did inject HTTP client class. So HTTP client is the class which is now working after adding your function of this conf in, 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 in your config after adding provide HTTP client. So this HTTP client class will now work in your services as expected. So which is the cool thing. So now in the previous versions we have a constructor and we were going to do the constructor like k hey, provide HTTP and having colon HTTP client. So that's a class. So now here in the latest versions of Angular inject is a function through which you can directly inject your services inside your services or inside your components. So I have HTTP client class which I need to import in my service. I need to just do inject function and pass it inside that. So I have a function called get about info. So the return type is kind of an observable and I have an interface called I about. So this which will be going to refer as an interface of about component. So there is kind of an API endpoint here on line number 18. So on line number 19, what I'm going to do is this dot HTTP dot get and I'm passing that URL inside it, which is a simple call as expected we are doing in previous versions of Angular. So now after that, like once that has been going to have an enablement, so you just need to do, you just need to go inside your component, call this API service and call this function simply. So if I can show you real life, so here you can go inside experience component. What I did is I just created a constructor and inside this I called API service, however, which is recommended, but not now in the newer versions of Angular. Simply what I just need to do is rather than this one, what I'm going to do this way. So you just need to copy this out. However, constructor can also work, but to be on safer side, like if you are, if you don't want to use constructor, because this is how in newer version of Angular it's been going to have. So <clears throat> what you just need to do is like API service equal to and get it out and call the inject function. And inside that inject, you just need to call your API service. So this is simple. Either you need to do this constructor either you just need to inject so this is up to you but i will prefer to use inject one now in the newer versions of angular so once it's been done you just need to call your function whatever is written inside your service so i'm simply calling get about info function and subscribing to it and getting the data so this is how it's been very important and these are the two api which is the first function is for getting about info and the second one is for getting the experience listing for my portfolio from the api so this is very simple and inside component this is the way i did so i can repeat it again so let me repeat so first thing which you need to do is go in your app.config file and you just need to import provide http client so that is the reflection of how in previously we did angular how we previously implement is kind of in your modules you we, uh, we were doing http client module so this is the same replica of that capability here in v19 we are just importing provide http client provider in our config file 
so the second step we need to do is like inside our services we just need to inject http client class and get use of http verbs from rest apis like we have five to six verbs get post put patch delete so like here in my application at the moment i'm consuming get http verb so which is pretty simple this is the same way we were doing in previous angular versions now inside components what we just need to do we need to just call this api service inside it and we just need to simply call those functions and get the data from api so this is a very cool thing which we just discussed and uh, like if, if i can show you the real uh, real quick demo so you guys can check it out here in the experience component you can see the data is being coming from api and if i can show you in the inspect for your better visibility like how it's been coming if you can go into the network call and if i refresh it and consume this fetch okay you can see now this is pretty simple maybe i can zoom it a bit so that for better visibility you guys can have a look so if i can go in preview you can see here is the about info which is coming from api and this is the experience listing which is coming from api so this is how simply you can also see in this these are kind of fetch function you can see fetch fetch these are two different api endpoints which i have just consumed so having said that this is what the perfect way of consuming your angular http client class rather than importing your http client module how we did in previous versions of angular now in the v19 what we just need to do we need to do provide http client in your providers array under config file so with the better and more optimum way of server side rendered application or server rendered application you just need to pass with fetch, with fetch function inside your provider of provide http client which will give you the more optimum way of consuming api calls and giving more performance optimization while consuming and giving the lighthouse results so thank you so much for watching this and have have a nice day